On February 18, 2009, less than a month into Barack Obama's supposed post-racial presidency, Attorney General Eric Holder marked Black History Month by declaring the American people essentially a nation of cowards for not talking more about race. If we are to make progress in this area, he said we must feel comfortable enough with one another and tolerant enough of each other to have frank conversations about the racial matters that continue to divide us. Really? Too little discussion of race in America? Race is our national obsession. Liberal commentators refuse to shut up about race. College students have it pushed in their faces from the first day of orientation on through to the mandatory pieties about diversity and social justice at graduation. Most every Fortune 500 company has policies aimed at hiring and promoting minorities, and woe be to recalcitrant managers who adhere to more traditional standards of merit. It's all part of an elaborate game of let's pretend that all Americans are required to play. It begins with the fiction that racism is the all-encompassing explanation for black social dysfunction and moves on to the fraud that even the most soul-crushing antisocial behaviors can't be condemned because they constitute authenticity. It was all there once again in the Trayvon Martin case. For the media, it had to be about white racism. And when the facts didn't fit, when George Zimmerman turned out to be Hispanic, well, the New York Times labeled him a white Hispanic, and NBC edited the police tape to be sure he sounded like a racist. And what's their solution to this imaginary plague of racism? Well, affirmative action, which is itself the very definition of racism, treating people differently based solely on the color of their skin. Of course, the results are horrific, which may explain why when Eric Holder's Justice Department forced the Dayton, Ohio Police Department to alter its testing standards for recruits because too few African Americans had passed the exam, even the head of the local NAACP called it a threat to public safety. If you lower the score for any group of people, he said, you're not getting the best qualified people for the job. Yet to even acknowledge these issues is to violate the ironclad rule that governs the racial dialogue in this country. White liberals and black race baiters driven by guilt on the one side and self-aggrandizement and profit on the other insist we keep pretending. Eric Holder calls us cowards for not having an honest conversation about race and calls us racist if we do. It was an anonymous soul at a 2009 Tea Party rally in Cincinnati who summed it up best. Emblazoned on his sign were the words, it doesn't matter what the sign says, you'll call it racist anyway. 